2007 Walt Disney World Ambassador. Good morning. I would like to welcome everyone on this very historic occasion. I would like to say a special welcome to our guests, our dignitaries, and our cast members. We'd like to kick things off by introducing to you a very special guest of honor and a cast member herself, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tracy Wu. just begun to dream. <laughs> now we've experienced 25 incredible years of making dreams come true for the millions of guests that have visited Epcot. And we can still say, we've just begun to dream. And to begin today's celebration, it is appropriate to begin with this wonderful music and to present Epcot cast members with the icons representing Spaceship Earth and future world attractions. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, honored guests, please welcome Epcot cast members from Future World. This is unbelievable. You know, when you look across here at Future World, there are thousands of guests, thousands of cast members who are here to celebrate this special day. And we say, welcome and thank you. I'll bet you some of them were here on opening day. In fact, I'll bet we have a variety of guests from a variety of different places. Let me ask you, how many of you are here for the first time? All right. <laughs> well, welcome to the start of the next 25 years. <laughs> How many of you have been here more than 25 times? How many of you 
were here on opening day, October 1st, 1982. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Well, I was here too as well. I was standing in the parking lot. And I'll never forget, I was working. I'll never forget, at about 3 o'clock, we call it Oh Dark Hundred now, the first car rolled through. And you know, it's amazing to me today, 41 years later, after Walt Disney announced Walt Disney World and Epcot Center, 25 years after its opening, we stand here today with all of you. And you know, Jim, you know, here we are celebrating the year of a million dreams, where dreams come true. And I can't think of a better place to be than standing in front of Spaceship Earth, and I'm looking across at the centerpiece of World Showcase, the American Pavilion. You know, for me, when Epcot was built and opened, it really signaled an era of growth on this property, where we went from one theme park to two. And just think now, we've got over 60,000 cast members that work on this property every year. Four incredible theme parks and over 24,000 hotel rooms and it was all launched from the growth that came from us expanding here at Epcot. That is incredible. Just incredible. You know and with all that growth I think we probably stand here today and recognize that the heritage and tradition of our founder Walt Disney is woven through the fabric of everything we do here every moment of every day and I am so proud of that 41 years later we're able to say that. You know, Walt left us with many great things. There's one particular quote that I remember very well. You can dream, create, imagine, and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it requires people to make that dream a reality. You know, folks, today, all of us have contributed, contributed to that reality, but we have one special person who I think was right next to Walt. You know, you're right, Jim. We've got one person here today to help us celebrate and I'll tell you, it was because of his vision, creativity, and passion. And it had a tremendous impact on the conception and the development of Epcot. He's a Disney legend who began his career in 1955, working with Walt Disney himself at Disneyland. And for 30 years, from 1974, he was the creative leader of Walt Disney Imagineering. He's the vice, he was the vice chairman and the principal creative executive there. He is the only Disney cast member to participate in every opening of our 11 theme parks worldwide. And he was inducted as a Disney legend in 2001. You can see his influence in every single Disney park and in the careers uh, and the creative philosophy of almost every designer and showman in our industry. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the Executive Vice President an Imagineering Ambassador, Disney legend, Marty Scalabro. Congratulations on uh, your leadership of Epcot and uh, Walt Disney World. You know, all of Walt Disney World is a reflection of Walt Disney's vision, leadership, and um, imagination, and especially confidence. Confidence and optimism about what the future can be. The film I wrote about Walt Disney's concept for Epcot was actually the very last time he appeared before the cameras in October 1966. And Walt's vision for Epcot really set the course for everything that has happened here at Walt Disney World in the 41 years since. Those letters, E-P-C-O-T, have in fact been carried out through the E, experimental, in everything from transportation systems to trash collections and even talking turtles. 
the P prototype in energy systems, construction methods, and new entertainment experiences. The C, community. On a peak day right here on these 28,000 acres, there are more than 300,000 people, including the guests in our four Disney parks and resort hotels and campground, and between 50 and 60,000 cast members. A community requiring all the services of a good-sized city, whether it's moving them, feeding them, housing them, or, as you can attest, entertaining them. The T, tomorrow, so many firsts, so many steps, small and large, into the future. So many dreams come true. From the day my fellow Imagineers and I began to create the Epcot Center that opened 25 years ago today, the experts we consulted in government, universities, and industry all told us one thing. The most trusted name in America is Mickey Mouse. It's true. But therefore, they said, you Imagineers... Water from the pitcher, with water from the Pope. From Germany, a German art glass pitcher with water from the Rhine. From China, a cloisonné vase with water from the Yangtze. From Norway, a folk art container with water from the fjords. From Mexico, a folk art container with water from the Rio Grande. And now it's time for the pouring of the waters. Marty and I would love it if you could help us start the Communicore Fountain with a little bit of Disney magic by using the phrase, we've just begun to dream. Say it with us, everybody. We've just begun to dream. We've just begun to dream. Say it again, I can't hear you. We've just begun to dream. We've just begun to dream. Come true.